wanted to get on here because I think it's really important to tell people what I'm doing. And you're gonna find another video like this on other platforms. So I know that I have been all over the place. I have two TikToks, two Facebooks, two Instagrams, two Snapchats. But because I'm testing out so many things because I wanna learn as much as possible about technology, and I, under, I don't even get it why this country is not moving towards teaching everyone more about technology and science, we shouldn't be focused on bringing manufacturing jobs back because that's just not the future. Let the manufacturing jobs stay where they are because those are low paid jobs and actually bring affordable goods to the United States. And let's educate the people in this country and things that are going to bring us into the future. I had talked about this in my other video, you're gonna see on the other page, how China is way ahead of the curve when it comes to technology and their students have been learning about AI and things that are coming for over 15 years and you're barely learning about it? People, when I was very young, I got in so much trouble because I was a hyper kid. I was always in trouble. The problem is the world wasn't as fast as my brain was working. And I finally found something that works as fast as my brain. And AI and technology does that for me. Um, I wasn't able to uh, change my career path because I was so busy raising kids. But yes, I was a girl who got an A in finite math. You know, I enjoyed putting together long problems that were infinite. That was my thing. And um, I didn't even realize how good I was in math until 11th and 12th grade. And then boom, I had a baby and, and the life just happened. But I still went to two years of my college. I was in calculus and finite math and I was really good at math. Can I do these problems right now? No, of course we don't remember everything we learned in school, but I know that my brain works that way. So when I went into real estate, everything calculated for me but it's never got me to the level of where my brain would go. And now with technology, my brain is working so much better and it took a while to get that to start working again because there's so many parts of our brain that's asleep because you're not using it. We're watching TV, we're scrolling social media, and we're not expanding what we have in here is our own computer. And I've been doing this since November and I have been going learning and there's always something on a new level. And a lot of you guys are refusing to learn what's coming because you think, oh, well, this is not me. This is, a I'm sorry, but AI can't function without you. It can't put out information unless you ask for it. It can't be specific about what you want unless you seek it. So yes, it can be something that's just so, oh, let me ask it and I find it out. I am th not that person. I'm the person who is, let me ask this question. Oh, that is not exactly what I want. I wanna ask the next question. So I'll be on to 20 questions before I get it exactly the way I want. But that's how my brain works. And if you guys don't get on this game of where we're going, you will be left behind because quantum's coming and you cannot understand quantum until you understand AI. I just don't get why this country is not advancing like other countries are advancing when it comes to technology. And we are going to be left in high because this technology is moving faster than you can possibly think. It is in everything that we are doing right now. It is in everything that we're doing. Everything you buy, every bank account you are, every store that you go to, everything that you do has technology in it right now. And for people like me who have been made fun of or who they don't understand because people don't think like us, ADHD and all that, this is your thing. This is going to work with your brain. And in the beginning, it's going to be painful because nobody is teaching you these things. You're gonna be learning this on your own, but all the information that you need to learn this is at your hands. It is right there. You don't need a teacher anymore. This is huge. This is bigger than you know. There's somebody sitting in a room right now and there's a, because their mind's like mine's and the, the technology is teaching you everything. How is it possible that I'm creating history in a woman's group over 50 and I'm creating my visual quotes and I'm creating my music with my poetry? I couldn't do this. My mind needs this. That's how my mind works. I am so excited about this, but I can tell you today, no matter what we do, the human mind still needs rest and I'm extremely exhausted and I'm going to probably go to bed early because I am physically and mentally drained, but I'm on a path that, that fits me and my personality. It's not gonna fit everybody, but 
the highly intellectual, the ADHD, the autism people, this is your thing. So take advantage of it. And don't worry about what the world is telling you. And don't let them tell you, hey, that's not you, that's AI. No, that is you. It's AI for the people who only want to use it for the basics. And I'm always seeking information. I do not want a generic answer. I do not want, I can tell when somebody picked up a generic, I've been at this since November. So when I look at someone's post and I know I can recognize AI, I post sometimes AI and I post sometimes me, but I can recognize the generic answer from an AI. And it's always going to be because of this and you survive this. It's always going to have like a, a this to the, this. And I refuse to take that answer because I need it to be real to who I am. So I'm always going to be pushing AI to give me something that is part of who I am. You teach your AI. You're not going to understand what I'm talking about until you actually dig into it. And it's very, very sad, sad that this country is still trying to put you in a factory. You belong someplace else, especially the kids with ADHD. And people may not get you because they don't understand that your brain is running 100 miles an hour. Not everybody's like that. And it's very rare to find a girl with ADHD. Most girls are ADD and boys are ADHD. I happen to be ADHD and I found my place. So don't ever feel like you're weird because you're not.